Okay guys, it's 11.15, right at 6.30 in the evening. Double R with you in the garage this evening, and working on tying up some loose ends around the shop area. You guys may remember that Jenny fan that I had bought, it was pretty rough, and I went ahead and uh, had it uh, media blasted and powder coated the frame and everything. And now I'm actually working on getting the motor put back together. Let's take a look. I'll show you what we got going on. I think the last time you guys may have seen the motor, it was all in the blast cabinet. I've got it out now and I've put uh, a couple coats of uh, SPI epoxy on it. And then I went over it with some uh, rattle can uh, cast blast. And I've also went ahead and uh, got two new bearings for it. These are the uh, 2032 bearings and got them in and actually done pressed them on the shaft here. It's the first time I got to use that new um, press. You guys may remember I got a press uh, last year and it was the first time I got to use it. So I finally, finally got the bearings put on the motor. So we're gonna be getting that put together. And also the fan itself, I've got it apart right there. Here's the blades for it. And here is all the hardware. Went ahead and uh, restored the hardware as well. And these, these four bolts here is actually for uh, the Camaro. But guys, that's what I'm working on and make a little bit more progress on this thing. I'll bring you back. Okay guys, I got this uh, fan put back together. Probably one of the things I wouldn't take apart again. I just took it apart to keep from having to tape everything. But it turned out okay. It's just a pain to get back together. But it's together now. I did mar the paint a little bit when I had to sock it up against the paint there. It's just rattle can paint. So I did mar, mar that aluminum color there just a little bit and I just touched it up with the brush. I do have the motor put together as well. I'm going to go ahead and fire that up. you guys set up on a stand. Okay guys, here we go. We're gonna fire this motor up and see what it sounds like. Got it wired for 120 volts AC right now. The only thing I wish I would have done different before I took it apart is I wish I would have marked this I guess you call it an end bell. I wish I'd have marked it in relation to the motor. But this one has three tabs and the back of it has three tabs. So I'm just assuming that these tabs lined up and that's the way that it went together. But it, it sounds pretty smooth. Sure does sound a lot different than that one over there. <laughs> We'll get the fan blades on it though, get it mounted, and then see what it sounds like. And I'll bring you back for that. Okay guys, I got this thing put back together. Got the fan back on the shaft. And it's got two Allens that screw into the shaft. And I was able to tell exactly from the previous marks where these were tightened down exactly where the fan was on the shaft. Now one thing that I didn't know was the position of the motor. That's one thing I did not make reference of as far as on the mounts here, how, how far back it was or how, how much forward it was. And you can see I've got plenty of space in there. I've got it setting all the way at the very back here. And what I did this Jenny fan here 
when I look at it, it is set all the way at the very back. So that's where I put that one at. I set it all the way at the very back. And as far as I can tell, guys, we're ready to try to fire it up. speed but I'm not sure right now if I'm going to put the uh, rheostat in in line with it or if I'm just going to use it just wide open and just use a regular switch I haven't decided that that one's a variable speed too and I usually run it wide open so I may it's it's got the rheostat in the wall and I may just put this one on the switch and control the, the bigger one there with the variable speed. But I don't know, I'm gonna think about that. We've got some time to decide. Seems like it's running really smooth. I don't have any vibration in it. I was a little nervous about firing it up just sitting here on this wooden blocks but it seems like it's okay. And uh, I think we'll call this project complete for now. So guys, just one more last look at it. Really happy the way this thing turned out. My powder coater, John, he did an excellent job with that copper vein. And all of the parts seem like they cleaned up real well. Like I said, this has got epoxy underneath it. And then it's just rattle can aluminum paint. The back here is the same way. It's uh, epoxy coated. But then it's uh, just cast blast over that. So you'll notice right here. On the thread of the bolts. That's actually that zinc coating. I just taped it up after I coated it before I painted everything. And then you'll notice here on the bolt, I put quite a bit of torque on this to tighten it up. And you can still see that the coating is intact. And it looks, it looks really good there. Same thing here. All the hardware has been restored. And, uh, you know, something that I thought was going to be junk now looks like it has a new lease on life. So, guys, all I got left to do is to remove that uh, little cheater cord there and uh, install this cover. And then I've got the nameplate to glue back on. So we'll get that glued on. And then in the spring, when it warms back up, we'll go ahead and start installing it in the wall and building a filter bank around it to match the one that's already up there. And like I said, we're going to put it down low, and I'm hoping it's going to help me on my overspray. A lot of that, that does go high when it falls. It, once it falls down below a certain level, you know, it just lands on the floor, and I'm hoping that this bottom fan will go ahead and send it on out. 
But that's the plan anyway. I'll let you know how it works out. And I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm happy to get it done. And happy to know that we are going to be able to use it. And it wasn't a total waste of money. And it's going to work out. So that's... I'm just glad that one, one more project's done. <laughs> so anyway, I got a mess to clean up as usual. I got tools all over the place, so I'm going to get to working on that. And when I have a little bit more progress, I'll be back online. Thank you, guys.